What is going on everybody? We are sitting here playing Vulcanverse today. I want to tell you guys about this game. It is absolutely phenomenal, beautiful game. And we are right now in the beautiful, sunny, cheery Hades. That's right. Hades, man. All right, maybe I lied a little bit. Yeah, we're chilling in Hades. Uh, so this is Vulcanverse. There are four quadrants. Uh, we are in one of them right now called Hades. And, and uh, basically what it is, it's like a Minecraft kind of-ish um, play-to-earn game, okay? So you could build or you could buy these lands right here. This is a plot of land right here. You could buy one of these. And then you could start building it. Start terraforming it to however you want it. Um, and then you build it the way you want it and, and make it look the way you want it to look. So we can walk around a little bit. I'm going to show you guys some stuff here. Um, like this person here owns this land. They built it to look like this. They design it however they want. They make this land. It's theirs. They own it. They make it however they want. It's beautiful. You can see there's some empty lands right here uh, that you guys can get in on it. And then there's ones like this. These are bought pieces of land that people have terraformed that have made it look like this. Again, you can make it look however you want. So what a lot of people like to do is they buy two, three, four, five lands, whatever it is, all touching each other. And you can actually build each plot into each other and kind of make it all one big thing. Um, absolutely beautiful. So yeah, this is just some of the stuff that people have made. Um, it, it's just such a neat concept. It's such a cool concept. So this world itself gets built just from everybody's creativity. So literally the player base create what this world looks like. It starts off empty like this, and then it ends up having people building stuff like this. Uh, how cool is that? So yeah, it's like a Minecraft-ish kind of because you're building, uh, but play to earn NFT games. So you see I have uh, my goat following me right now. He's doing some missions. He's getting some materials and stuff for me. So then I can go and build on my own plot of land. This is not my plot of land, but there it is working hard over there. Look at that goat. He's working so hard. He's working so hard over there grabbing that material for me and um yeah so he's gonna get the material i'm gonna bring it back to my land and then i'm gonna build on my plot of land and hopefully i could build something pretty cool i'm not very creative myself but i'm gonna do my best i'm gonna do my best so um yeah there's the goat uh these are actually nfts themselves um you can get different ones and and uh, you know there's obviously better um nfts and and, and vulcanites uh, than others, but this is mine right there. So anyway, uh, how I'm doing this here, I'm clicking on these. He goes out, he forages, he gets materials, brings it back to me. I'm going to take those materials, go to my land, build up my land, rinse and repeat. That's how you get the materials and work on your land. Uh, but yeah, this is Hades. Uh, not the most cheerful place. You know, it seems a little dangerous here, man. Seems a little dangerous here. Some shady people, man. Looks like there's some shady people around here, man. But yeah, that's Hades. All right, so let me show you building mode now now i'm sitting here on my plot of land i'm in boreas this is my plot of land i own this as you see right here it says owner capone gaming that's me and uh yes yeah, so let me just show you a little thing so right now i'm gonna do um, i'm just raising the plot I'm, I'm actually the land okay so you can raise the land here i'm doing this all on my own you're raising the land you can bring it down you can do whatever you want okay so you can bring it higher lower whatever you want okay that's just the land uh spot of it, it looks like a frog it almost looks like a little frog Look like a frog. You know what? It's a frog. We're going to keep that. <laughs> We're going to keep the frog. Why do we want a frog? I don't know, but we do. We want a frog. All right, so that's the land. So we brought the land up a little bit. You can bring it down. You see how I did that? You can actually bring it in like that. See? Put a little hole there. Everyone needs a little hole to fill. Uh, there we go. There's a little hole to fill right there. So we got a hole. We got a frog. Let's see what else we can do. But yeah, I was just messing around with the ground a little bit. You can raise it. You can you can put you know you can make it higher. You know you can uh, make it go lower. Whatever you want. Okay, this is your plot of land. You do what you want to it. And uh, yeah, so we're just kind of messing around with it a little bit. There's other things you can do. Um, you know you can make uh, you know walls. You can make uh, you know lanterns and benches. Whatever it is, man. You can you can design it however you want uh, with all the stuff. So you need materials. These are the materials you need. There's like wood or stone or whatever it is. Uh, so you need that to actually build these to put them on your plot of land. So here we got like a barrel. Let's put a barrel. Boom. Yeah, let's put a couple of barrels on here. Just uh, why not? Just to kind of show you guys uh, what they're about. Let's put four barrels. Why not, man? Let's put the four corners of our plot of land. So anyway, yeah, this is just some things that you could do uh, with your plot of land. Like I said, I brought the, the ground up. We brought the ground down. Put a few barrels on. There's lots more we could do. I'm not very creative myself. I'm going to try to figure something out. Picasso something, you know, but I, I don't know, man. I'm, I don't have too much faith in myself, but we're going to try something and see what we come up with. 
All right, so we're going to try doing some more building here. We just did a little mount here, put a couple things here, nothing too crazy. We're going to keep going on. I want to try to build something. I want to build a, a land. I see I could build a house. I got a, enough for a, a house. Let's throw a house on it. Why not, man? Let's throw a house on there, and uh, let's see what we could do on it, man. I'm a pretty basic guy. I'm going to let it build the house for me. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Uh, let's see. So we have a house. Uh, yeah, we need some. We need some. We need some light, man. We need some light here. Let's, uh, you know, around the door, you know, we gotta make we gotta let them know we're here, man. We gotta let them know that, yo, we live here, man. This is our house, you know what I mean? We gotta let them know, man. We gotta let them know. What else we got here? Let's see, we gotta let them know, man. Let's put some here, you know. Yeah, let them know, this is our house, man. Put a light here. Put a light here. Boom. You know what I mean? That's not bad, man, you know, for, for someone that's not creative, I got a, I got a mount that looks like a frog, you know, ribbit, ribbit, we got some barrels, I mean, how uncreative is that, you know, and then uh, we got a house, you know, I mean, that's good to start, we can, you know, we can mess with a little bit, but I think to start, that's pretty good, what do you think? Okay, so now we're inside the house. Now we gotta build our house. This is our home, man. We gotta let them know this is our home, right? So let's build. Let's see what we can start with, man. Let's start with uh, a, a cr yo. We need a throne. We need the throne. So we're gonna put in a nice throne right there. Let them know this is our house. Uh, what else can we add in here, man? Let's see. Uh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. There's actually a lot of really cool stuff in here. You know, you need one of these desks, man. You need a desk. You know, let them know. Okay, man. Don't mess with us, man. We got a desk. You know what I mean? Don't mess with us, man. We got a desk in our house. Boom. We're going to put a desk there. Let them know we read, you know, read books and stuff, you know. Uh, what else we got, man? Uh, oh, a treasure chest. Nothing Nothing says nothing says my house like a treasure chest. You know what I mean? Nothing says my house, my throne, quite like having a treasure chest right beside your chair. You know what I mean? Boom. Nothing says my house, my throne, like a couple of treasure chests just sitting there. Boom. You know? What else we got? Oh, a little bookshelf. You know, why not? That's a good spot. Boom. I think that's good for inside. I like that. All right, so there you have my house, man. This is my plot of land, what I have so far. I mean, it's nothing too crazy. It's pretty basic right now, what I've done to it, but we are going to add to it. We're going to make it a little better uh, as time goes on. So this is just a start, just so we have something there, you know? So we don't just have an empty plot, but we are going to work away at this. We are going to make this a lot better. I do want to build the ground up, make it look really cool and stuff, add some trees and, you know, some cool stuff, man. We're going to get there when we get there. But for now, this is going to sit like that. Uh, just so, you know, like I said, it's just not an empty lot sitting there, man. I want to, I want to add to it i want to put my part into the game and uh even though i'm not that creative uh you know this is good for me man i think for me this is this is uh you know this is an improvement to what i what i thought i was gonna do so uh there's my plot of land and uh yo this is just the beginning but yeah so guys again this is like a, a minecraftish game where you buy your land you own your plot of land you can build on it you own it you do what you want with it you get vulcanites like this you see my goat here what a beautiful goat and uh, they go get materials for you, and there's a lot more coming. This game also has an, uh, many other games that are part of it, like Berserk, which is a card game. You can use your Vulcanites from here. In the Berserk games, you actually use them as NFT cards. Uh, it's like a Hearthstone type of game, and uh, you battle other p people as well using your NFTs from this game as well. So th there's so many possibilities. Everything this game, there's so much opportunity, and uh, it's just it's a really, really, really good time. So I highly recommend getting involved in this, guys. It's a really awesome project, cool NFT game, uh, metaverse kind of thing. Um, absolutely incredible. So uh, this is Vulcanverse. Highly recommend. Get on in on it, guys.